It's time for another update of the sand versus eggshell bins for today, guys. It's Emily, the crazy worm lady. Let's hop right in and let's see what's going on. I'm surprised, very little condensation. Um, some springtails, a few baby worms around the edges, but these bins were running really wet, if you recall, last time we fed. So I'm, I was, I'm interested to see that. I, I would have expected it would have been more, more wet, but that's good news. So I don't even remember where we fed. So we are just gonna turn this bin up. And these reds look so big. I think part of it is because the bin is wet more wet than I'm used to, but they're just fatter than I'm I'm used to as well. So again, this is sand bin and these guys are massive in here. Holy cow. I was wondering what was gonna happen with this cardboard that had the glossy red print. I think it was from a Coke cart, you know, a um, the box that Coke cans come in but nothing seems to be happening, which could be partially because it's matted down, but I'm also wondering if it's not gonna be able to break down. But this is interesting. This is soft, but it's been like at least two weeks and the worms were not yet into this citrus. That's, that's the first interesting thing I see. Here's another citrus. They're on it. They're under it, but not yet into it. But you can see a very good number of them all around the area, along with what looks like a fruit fly larva which they have been the bane of my existence lately. But I'm just feeling piece of citrus after piece of citrus that is covered in, in springtails, which they're kind of like the starter guys for getting things breaking down. Some fruit fly larva, which they also will help break things down, but the worms aren't really into this yet. So while I'm in here, all of this is gonna get busted up because Obviously, the process is taking a long time, and I'm not patient enough for this, but to think that we started with, gosh, what did we say, guys? Uh, I think we did 50 worms in each bin, and we now, I mean, just in this one shot we have here, we have well over 50 worms. Um, they're just doing really, really well. So from that, from that point of view, we know they reproduced in here. It's just uh, going to be that final count we're going to have to start working on soon. But I'm pretty much just going to turn the bin, and I'm really going to put an emphasis on kind of mounding things up in the middle, because now I can have, I smell citrus very strongly all throughout this bin, and I want to make sure... that everything gets well, well buried so we don't have more. Here's another piece, or am I digging? I'm digging out the piece I just covered back up, I guess. Um, we just don't want to encourage more fruit flies, but I'm gonna see if I can get my arm over here and look on the other side as well. How about I move my body so that I don't knock the camera? It's really, really wet down on that side. So kind of the process of turning this up might be helpful to allow the bin to start to dry a little bit. But I am nervous about leaving the lid off because of all the citrus and those fruit flies. But I'm kind of tempted to leave it off because this is like mud. So I don't know, there was nothing down in this left-hand side so 
I might just fill that void with some empty um, toilet paper rolls or something that can allow some aeration and then just um, leave it mounded up a little bit over here hoping that the moisture will move down to the side here where I just emptied it all out and that way um, maybe it will help start to dry this some and then if the fruit fly issue starts to get better then I can um, take the lid off and, and leave it off for a couple of days but for now I don't feel safe leaving the lid off with fruit flies being everywhere so I'm literally just going to leave these here they'll um, kind of absorb whatever's going on in the bin and now it's time to go take a peek at the eggshells whereas the lid was really dry in the sand bin the lid is very wet in this bin and I do see one full-grown adult worm hanging out. I'm going to try to pop him out here. Nope, two. I lied. There's another one. There we go. So, let's see what we have going on down here. Again, these worms are just... have some massive size on them. There we go. And again, over on this side is pretty wet, kind of muddy feeling. Yeah, really, really muddy feeling. It like, actually takes effort to like dig to the bottom and pull it to the top. So, it's definitely way too wet. I don't know what this was. This had to have been older. Because it's the skin of like an onion or an apple. I'm not really sure. But I am interested to see if there's a difference in how much progress these worms have made on the citrus in the middle. How nice of them not to process it since I couldn't remember what I'd fed and I hadn't looked back yet to see. No, I don't think it's going to be any different over here from what I can feel. See one of my little beetles. See him? They really aren't harmful to anything, but they are a little creepy. So I'm just going to puncture a hole in here because that's what we're trying to do is expose this so the worms can get into it. And let's see what the other... Again, it's like really matted down with the bedding. But the worms are all in the area again, so that's, that's the good news. Oh yeah, I've forgotten we had put these egg, or not, not egg crates, um, like drink holders that they give you when you have or buying like four drinks and you don't have enough space for them at fast food restaurants. I put one of those underneath of our feeding from last time. That's what we fed. We fed the blended food with the oranges. Now, now it's coming back to me, but it's just nothing but a matted mess down here in the middle. It's interesting that I didn't see any of that drink container, at least none that was like obviously unprocessed, like in this bin. But this piece of orange looks like it's partially processed, so like they started to get into this. And they look really healthy. Some springtails, potworms, but they're all working well together in here, it looks like to me. And actually, it looks like there's a little congregation down in here <laughs> to get these guys out is like difficult. It is so muddy. You're always afraid to pull too hard. You don't want to hurt any of them.
but really everything looks beautiful even though the castings are much more you know wet than I would like the worms aren't bothered at all they got a beautiful color to them they're all really nice size um, they got a ways to go on the bedding a ways to go on the citrus that's in here but overall really have nothing to complain about because they're doing they're doing really well I mean all all the way down here looks like there's probably some blue worms in this mix too they're kind of some fast movers in here but again I go all the way over to that left hand side and it is just like sludge absolute sludge so I'm just kind of doing this whole bury everything up really well in the middle and to the right and what we'll do is I'll throw some more um, paper towel rolls down on the, this left side over here make sure these oranges are covered up and what I did in the other one that I didn't show on this one is I threw a few um, used paper towels just kind of balled up across the surface again as something to absorb some of the moisture and hopefully with this added area yes this is hot, deeper now which means you know the water is going to condense lower but I'm hoping that this space over here will allow, allow for a lot of aeration that um, this portion at least will start to dry out I could be totally wrong I really don't typically have a big issue with moisture so I'm just going to play around with it and then next week if I have to take the lids off I will um, but I am thinking about trying to start harvesting this so we're just going to have to see and I'm going to have to take those types of measures if I you know if I ever want to be able to sort this and and count worms there's no way I'm going to be able to get these little itty bitty baby worms out of mud compost so I'm gonna wrap this up I won't bring you guys along for the whole thing this is lengthy as it is but let me know what you think drop those comments below like this video subscribe if you'd like some more content from me hit that bell for notifications so you know whenever I upload a video and I'll be back with you guys real soon for an update